she's putting out all these vibes from my wedding with looks that we so carefully curated yeah. and then putting it into the fashion. Uh, she got so mad. She said, you're trying to copy me, but she always tries to hate on the side. She's such a hater. Knowing that Courtney is mad just kills my vibe. I have to talk to her and explain it to her. Courtney Kardashian and her younger sister, Kim Kardashian, have been in disagreement for a while now. Recently, Courtney announced to her husband, Travis Barker, that she was pregnant, which made everyone in the family congratulate her on social media, including Kim. However, Courtney feels Kim isn't happy with her pregnancy. Could that be true? Watch on as in this video, we'll discuss this further. It all started when Courtney accused Kim of using her wedding day as a business opportunity. In a trailer for season three of The Kardashians, the sisters even aimed at each other over Kim's 2022 collaboration with Dolce & Gabbana just months after Courtney hosted her wedding with Barker in Italy. Breaking down in tears, Courtney said Kim had used her special day as a business opportunity. My sister used my wedding as a business opportunity, she said. In the reality show, Courtney accused Kim of choosing jobs over her family. My sister used my wedding as a business opportunity. She felt like her wedding vibes were like stripped from her. She's mad at me. I just feel like there is such an abundance of opportunities. It's not about business. There's just so much and it takes precedence over hurting your sister. It is legit copying my wedding, like everything that I did was pulling references from the 90s. It is just stupid because it is a deeper thing than that. It is about grabbing whatever is in the way. It is such an abundance and an excess. It is never enough. It is never okay to just not do something or turn something down. She went on to claim that Kim wasn't happy at her nuptial. While everyone was like, whoa, this is amazing and we're having the best time, Kim wasn't happy. She never gave acknowledgement like, this is so amazing, I love this whole vibe. Do you mind or how do you feel about me doing something based on this? She added that she was never going to tell someone to not do something. No one called me to say, how do you feel about this? I, no, I called you and yeah. I thought I came to you. I did. You stole my wedding country. Like the business and the check was more important than my feelings. Courtney concluded, I think it is also subconscious. I think she sees everything I had there and takes it for her own. And she doesn't even see it. She sees it as the dollar signs, but I see it as, oh, you were there, you weren't happy. Everyone said something to me. They were all like, she is spiraling. When Courtney first made the statement, Kim asked Khloe Kardashian if Courtney was mad at her, which she replied, yes. However, Kim said in her confessional, I'm really confused at how this narrative came into her head. She continued that she had a lengthy email chain with Dolce & Gabbana in which she pleaded with them to push the collection back so it did not come out too close to Court's wedding. She added that she called her sister twice to talk about the collaboration, which later came out four months after her wedding. I want to be respectful for Courtney and this journey. I didn't want to do any of her looks even if I love them, Kim said. I couldn't have been more mindful. I said, don't do the Madonna collection. Don't do the lace collection. Don't do anything Courtney wore at her wedding out of respect for Courtney. She's mad that I'm doing the Dolce thing. This is the first time I heard that Courtney is upset about us doing the Dolce show. And like, I couldn't have been more mindful. I, I said, don't do the Madonna collection. Don't do the lace collection. Don't do anything that Courtney wore to her wedding out of respect for Courtney. She won't post her shirts. I don't give a shit if she posts. I know. She went on to add that it was not right for Court to be upset with her over a business deal. Fans were on Courtney's side when she accused Kim of being mean and inconsiderate for hating one of Courtney's most precious days of her life. They feel Kim is definitely jealous of Courtney's newfound relationship. Courtney and her husband Travis are known to post PDA-filled photos. They posted one which Kim later copied. She replicated the photo with her latest boyfriend, Pete Davidson. The photo showed Kim's feet resting on Pete's chest as she laid on the couch. When fans saw the picture, they immediately knew what she was trying to do as her sister and brother-in-law often share foot photos. Fans started commenting about the photo, pointing out that Kim was copying Courtney. The poster used the hashtag, hashtag Kim stop competing with your sister, which made others weigh in their thoughts. 
One person commented, starting to think Kim calling Courtney the least interesting to look at was out of jealousy. Another said, she can't let her sister have one single thing, can she? Like it's getting obvious at this point. Another person commented, Kim has become pathetic. She is doing this to beat Courtney because she's jealous and it's so transparent. The post didn't go unnoticed by the Kardashians as Chloe commented about her sister's common taste. Do you guys have a foot fetish too? She jokingly asked. Kim didn't reply for a while before eventually writing back with just, nope. While the comment looks harmless, fans believed it was a dig at Courtney. Someone wrote, why does it seem like they're still trying to drag Courtney? Another added, just nope, no emoji or anything. Kim seems annoyed, lol. With this question, it became obvious that Chloe had joined Kim against Courtney. Fans even claim the duo never comment on Courtney's posts on Instagram anymore. You know, Courtney like doesn't call to ask like, how am I feeling? But I remember when she was pregnant with either Mason or P, she was crying. Like you or mom like didn't call her for like two weeks to say like, how are you feeling pregnant? And I'm like, you haven't even asked me one time, how am I feeling? Like, I don't think her not talking to us affects her. And that's so weird to me. One fan wrote, I barely pay attention to their Instagram, but whenever I go to Kim's, I see all these comments from Chloe on every post, while Courtney never comments. Meanwhile, on Courtney's Instagram lately, neither Kim nor Chloe ever comment. Chloe didn't even comment on Courtney's birthday post to her. How shady is that? They added, something is up, and it's giving the mean girl in the group out group behavior. I feel like they're both jealous of Court's relationship and newfound relevancy. Even when Courtney paid a tribute to her on her birthday, Chloe failed to acknowledge her. The duo of Kim and Chloe have branded Courtney jealous and a hater, but Chloe later appeared to soften after Courtney phoned her up in tears and shared her perspective. Chloe later spoke to Kim on her behalf, telling her, I hope she's going to talk to you about it. I wish she would. She feels like you sort of stole her thunder. And she feels like, why can't she have something for herself? And while Kim did admit that she understood why Courtney felt that way, she maintained that she shouldn't have to ask for her permission. In the preview of the episode, Kim is visibly angry about her sister's drama and said in a confession, you also stole my wedding country, referring to her and her ex Kanye West's wedding in Italy in 2014. You stole my wedding country. Like the business and the check was more important than my feelings. Although this statement was short, it seems to be the reason for this entire feud, as viewers believe this is the genesis of the whole issue. One fan even picked out that Courtney's wedding was on May 22nd, which was just two days before Kim's anniversary with Kanye. Both ceremonies also took place in Italy, and Andre Bocelli even performs at both weddings. I need big strong men to hold me down. Thank you, big strong men. Oh, my God. Oh, my friend Travis. Oh, my They're going to make out now. I just know it. I've watched this shit. Yeah. After many attempts, Courtney announced that she and Travis were expecting their first child together last week at the drummer's Blink-182 concert in Los Angeles. She even raised a handwritten sign that read, Travis, I'm pregnant. That you would want to have another baby just blows my mind. It's your time to be free and have fun. Whatever's God's plan. We are officially done with IVF. We would love a baby more than anything, but I just really believe in what God has in store for us. If that's a baby, then I believe that it will happen. So I think just being happy is most important and being a good parent to my kids. A source revealed that both couples are on cloud nine. This pregnancy is beyond their wildest dreams. Courtney and Travis feel like this is one of the most magical things to happen to them and a complete miracle. They are so thrilled and can't wait to experience this pregnancy together, bring a baby into the world as a unit, and expand and grow their families. The couple, who have been married for a year now, have been open about their struggles to conceive. Their journey has been chronicled on The Kardashian Show, where they offered viewers an inside look at their efforts from trying IVF to deciding to stop in vitro fertilization attempts. 
Now that their prayers have been granted, one expects Kim would show at least some compassion when it came to hearing the news. However, it looks like she just can't help herself. She posted about Courtney's announcement by resharing Court's Instagram reel to her story. She wrote, Congrats, we're having a Kravis baby, and added some pregnancy and heart emojis. Fans felt like Kim was doing the bare minimum just to avoid getting dragged, and also the fact that she wrote, We are having a baby, sounds like she was once again trying to make the big moment hers. Courtney knew Kim wasn't happy about her pregnancy because days after her announcement, Kim appeared on Hailey Bieber's show, Who's in My Bathroom, and seemed to drag Court on the show. She claimed Courtney was a bad influence when growing up in Kris Jenner's household. She said she was always the good, responsible daughter, while Court was shady. My friends' as parents would always trust me because I was always the goody two-shoes, never going to sneak out, never going to sneak out to drink or smoke or anything. My friends, their parents would always trust me because I mm -hmm. was always like the goody two-shoes and then Courtney would take them and like be the shady one. <laughs> A source revealed that Courtney no longer holds any hope that Kim will change anytime soon. So she just wants to keep a distance between them while she focuses on her husband and growing a family. Fans expected the feud between the duo to end with Courtney's pregnancy, but it didn't. With Courtney keeping her distance, will it be okay for the family? Let us know your opinions in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more celebrity gossip.